بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <coughs> Mrs. Naba, do you have my voice? I have my voice. Do you have my voice? Okay. You have my okay. voice. Yeah. Yes, salam. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, first... Uh, okay, first uh, I want to say that uh, uh, the courses uh, are still online until the end of the term but the exam is not online okay the final exam is not online but uh, the courses and the lectures are online okay do you know this Mrs. Nava yes yes Okay, uh, if if uh, uh, if we have, for example, we have f uh, four data. Okay, if we have four data, and uh, we check the first data, and we see that the output is uh, is equal 
to the target so we don't have any uh, so we don't have any update in the weight okay and uh, in the second data we see that the output is not equal to the, uh, to the target then we update the weight in the third data we see that the output is not equal and then we update the weight okay so only for example if I give you four data you have to do this for the four data only for the four data not more okay Sorry, doctor, I can't translate the lecture with you now because I have a surgery. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Friday. Sorry. I'm, very I'm still sick. Sorry, doctor. No problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, uh, so uh, the uh, uh, for the perceptron, do you do you understand? Uh, in the uh, if you have problem, no, Mrs. Mrs. Naba, if you have. No problem. Uh, in the in the algorithm, in the perceptron algorithm, you have to repeat. But uh, in the uh, in the exam, I said that you only do it once. If you have four data, you uh, you do the weight update only for these four data, and you don't repeat it. But in the algorithm, you have to repeat it. Okay, in the in the algorithm, in the real algorithm, you have to repeat. But for the exam, uh, I said that uh, you don't need to repeat it. Okay. The exam is on the yes yes thank you. Darsa Darsa Darsa. Okay, uh, in the in the previous uh, week, I put a, a video about the decision tree. Okay, I put a video about the decision tree, uh, and so uh, please check that video. Please check that video. Uh, Uh, please check that video. So, if you have any question about uh, the decision tree, please ask me. So, uh, and now I will talk about uh, linear regression. Uh, linear regression. This is the next topic that I will talk about in this session. If you have any question about the decision tree, you can ask it now. Uh, or, uh, or 
later if you have checked the video about decision tree and you have any question you could ask it now or uh, in the next sessions okay uh, the next subject that I will talk about is linear regression uh, linear regression uh, regression it is uh, a type of supervised learning uh, regression is a type of supervised learning uh, so uh, it is similar to classification okay classification is supervised learning uh, it means that uh, a, a supervised learning means that uh, in the training data the data it has outputs the data has outputs and we are using uh, the output of the data to uh, train uh, the learning model this is supervised learning so supervised learning it means that the data has outputs and we are using the outputs for training the learning model similar to classification classification was a supervised learning too so regression and classification they are similar in this part and uh, the difference the difference of uh, classification and regression is that in regression the output of the data is continuous the output of the data is continuous this is the difference of regression with classification for example the if the output is the price of a product the price of a product it is a continuous a price the price of a product it may be anything okay for example uh, okay we have some product each of the product they have some attributes or features and the output is the price and this price it could be anything so it is a continuous value in the classification we said that the output is discrete it means it has only some uh, limited values okay uh, for example we we talked about the fruit and we said the fruit it is apple or pear only two values but the price product it could be anything the price of a product it could be anything so it is a continuous value uh, okay mrs naba if you can translate please thank you sorry sorry okay sorry sorry no problem no problem sorry sorry okay so uh, another example about another example about uh, regression it is the price of a house okay the price of a house it is something which is continuous each house uh, each house it has it could have uh, different features the features of a house are for example the address the number of rooms in the house okay the address the number of rooms uh, and the age the age of the house it means how long ago it was built and uh, the other features for example uh, do we have an elevator or uh, what are the 
features, what are the different features of the house. And then we have the price of the house. The price of the house, it is continuous. So if we want to, if we want to uh, predict the price of houses, uh, and we want to do this using uh, machine learning and data mining, we use it with regression. Regression is a solution when we have a problem which the output is not this discrete and it is continuous. There are many applications. There are many applications which the output is a continuous value. Okay? Uh, okay. Uh, you said that the output it could be a number or uh, in the, in the regression uh, usually in the regression usually the output it is a number it is a number and this number could be anything it could be anything and the values are not limited it could have any value okay so this is regression Okay, uh, regression, uh, we have different types of regression, similar to classification, similar to classification, you see that we have different classifiers, we have the neural network, we have KNN, decision tree, and many other classifiers, these are different classifiers. Also, for uh, regression, for, re for regression, uh, we have different, well, we have different uh, uh, regression algorithms. We have different regression algorithms. The simplest type of regression, it is called linear regression. So, linear regression, it is the simplest type of regression. The simplest type of regression. Okay. In the linear regression, the learning model is like this. Y is equal to W0 plus W1 X1, W2 X2, WN XN. Okay. This is the learning model. We said that the learning model, it is uh, the format of the relation between the inputs and output. The inputs are x1, x2, xn. And the output is y. w0, w1, w2, these are the parameters. These are the parameters. Okay? In the regression, the y is continuous and uh, okay for example the uh, y is the price of the house and x1 x2 these are the features of the house for example the number of rooms the address and the different features of the house uh okay uh Okay, Mr. Hossein Tai, uh, you said, what is the second type? Uh, okay, what do you mean? Second type of what? Second type of regression, you mean? Yes. Okay, we have many types of regression. Okay. 
uh, no we have many types of regression we don't have only two types we have many types of regression for example we can use the neural network for regression okay we have KNN for regression we have decision tree for regression okay almost all of the algorithms that we have for classification we can have them for regression okay so we have many many types of regression the simplest is the linear regression uh, okay mister uh, 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 Bagher, uh, you said that uh, why does W0 uh, W it doesn't have X okay this is the learning model W0 uh, uh, this is the a linear learning model in the linear learning model w0 is a, a, a parameter that doesn't have uh, it it isn't uh, multiplied by a feature okay we don't have uh, this is what we have for example uh, when we have a, a line uh, when we have a line okay let me uh, write it for you we say that y is equal to w0 plus w1 x1 okay this is the uh, yes w uh, w0 is like the bias okay uh, okay in in the learning the, in the learning model uh, we have uh, one of the parameters is not uh, multiplied by any feature okay this is something which is in the format of the linear model the linear model is like this okay mr uh, muhammad jafar uh, okay we have uh, many types of regression not only seven types we have many types of regression okay um in the regression uh, one of the uh, one of the features of regression is that uh, the uh, the um, algorithm is interpretable interpretable okay what does interpretable mean in the in in persian in farsi we say that قابل تفسير interpretable قابل تفسير تفسير okay I think we have the same uh, uh, word in Arabic okay uh, so it means that uh, what does this mean what does this mean uh, what does this mean it means that for example if we say that uh, why it is the price of the house for example if y is the price of the house and uh, x1 is the number of rooms x2 is the age okay and then uh, we have this y is equal to uh, 2x1 uh, minus uh, 3x2 y is equal to 2x1 minus 3x2 okay uh, y 
uh, this is a very simple example okay I said that y is the price of the house x1 is the uh, number of rooms and x2 is the age of the house okay after after we have found the values of these parameters w1 and w2 w1 is 2 for example we have found this value w1 is 2 and w2 is minus 3 okay so w1 is 2 and w2 is minus 3 okay we have found these values in the training I will talk about the training in the next slides I will talk about the training okay we have found these values and we see that uh, w1 is 2 and w2 is minus 3 okay this means that this means that the number of rooms which is x1 the, okay the, uh, the number of rooms it has a positive uh, a positive effect on the price of the house it means that when the number of rooms is more the price of the house is higher okay this is why we say it is interpretable قابل التفسير it means that we uh, uh, when we check this learning model we have an idea of what is happening and then x2 is the age of the house it means that the age of the house it has a negative impact on the price of the house uh, when the age of the house is more the price of the house it is lower the house is that the age is not very high they are uh, they have higher prices so this is why we say that the linear regression it is interpretable okay do you understand this Okay. Okay, in the uh, in the uh, the learning of the regression, the learning of the regression, we are setting the weights. In the learning, we are setting the weights, the parameters W0, W1, W2, WN. Uh, when we, in, in the linear regression, uh, the learning means setting the weights. Okay. Yes, Mr. Muhammad Jafar, yes, there is a linear regression. Uh, a relationship between the input and output okay so so learning in the uh, linear regression it means setting the weights sorry sorry
Okay, there are many learning algorithms. There are many learning algorithms uh, for uh, the linear regression. There are many learning algorithms. Uh, least square method. Uh, uh, one of the methods for learning in the linear regression it is the least square method. Okay, so the least square method. It is a method for learning in the linear regression. Okay, here we want to talk about the least square uh, learning algorithm. Uh, in the least square learning algorithm, we want to find the parameters W that minimize this term. Okay, we want to find the w, the parameters w, which minimize this term. Okay, what does this term mean? In this term, m is the number of training data. yit, it is the target output. yip, it is the predicted output. It means the output of the model. The difference between yit and yip, it is the error. And this is, uh, okay, we call it uh, epsilon i. Epsilon i, it is the error. Okay, so this e, this e, it is the error of the training data the error of the training data. So uh, we want to find uh, uh, we want to find the weight which we are uh, uh, which uh, minimizes the error on the training data. Okay, we want to find this weight. Okay, so in the least square, we want to find the weight that it minimizes the error on the training data. Okay, now how do we find this? How do we find uh, this uh, weight? How do we find it? What is? How do we find the weights in the least square? Okay, this is a simple example here. This is the, uh, this is a simple example. You see that in this example we have four training data: one, two, three, and four. These are the training data. Okay. Each of these training data, it has a an input and an output. X1 is the input and Y is the output. For example, in this training data, okay, in this training data, the input or X1 is this value and the output Y is this value. For this training data, the input is this value, X1, and the output is this value, okay? So here we have four training data. 
And now we want to use linear regression. Okay. In the linear regression, in the linear regression, okay, here we said that, as you see, there is only one input and an output. So, when we have only one input and then the output, the learning model is like this. Y is equal to W0 plus W1X1. This is the learning model when we have one input and the output. X1 is the input and Y is the output. So this is the learning model. And this learning model, it is a line. Okay? If you, uh, if you, are familiar f uh, familiar with the formula of a line the line formula is like this y is equal to w0 plus w1 x1 this is a line and this line you see here this is the line this line which is light blue this is the line y is equal to w0 plus w1 x1 okay so we have a line here and then we have these four data one two three four okay for each of these data for each of the data if if we want to use this line if we want to use this line for doing the prediction if we want to use this line for doing the prediction okay it means that we give the input of the data to this line and the line gives us the prediction okay for example on this data on this data the input is here so we give this input to the line and the line gives us this output. So this is the error. Epsilon 1. Error for data number 1. Epsilon 2 for data 2. And Epsilon 4 for data 4. Okay. Do you understand? These are the error for each of the data. Okay, so, uh, yes, okay, uh, here we have four data, okay, here uh, in this, in this figure we have four data, and we said that uh, we want to use, the uh, linear regression. Uh, because in this example, our data only has one input and uh, the output. So the learning model is like this. Y is equal to W0 plus W1X1. We only have one input and the output. And this is a line. So assume this is the line. This is the line. And then for each of the data, for example, for this data, we give the input of this data, which is this value here, we give it to the line, and the line gives us this value. Okay, we give this, and the line gives us this value. Okay? The blue line, it is determined in the training. Okay, the blue line is is determined with W0 and W1. We should have W0 and W1. Okay? 
these values are determined in the training of the learning model. Okay. Here we said that if we want to find W which minimizes this. Okay, so this is the training. We are looking for the W. And then when we are looking for the W, we get this line. And then we could uh, uh, minimize the error to find the best line. Okay? Do you understand, Mr. Muhammad Jafar, Muhammad Bagar? Okay. So uh, here we uh, want to find the line which has the minimum error and the error is like this epsilon 1, epsilon 2 it means that we want to find a line which has the minimum distance to the data we want to find a line which has minimum distance to all of the data Okay, so now let's see how do we find the W0 and W1 in the least square. As I said, in the least square algorithm uh, this is the learning if if we have one input if we have one input this is the learning model for one input this is the learning model for one input okay so uh, we want to find w0 and w1 okay first we uh, write the error function first we write the error function okay this is the formula of the error function okay uh, the summation from i equal to 1 to m epsilon i to the power of 2 okay so we could write this epsilon Epsilon i is the error of data number i. The error of data number i is equal to yit. Yit is a target output. And this w0 minus w1x uh, i, it is this. Okay, this is the prediction. Prediction, predicted output, and yit is the target output. So the difference is the error. So this is the error function. Okay, this is the error function. The error function is the summation of i from 1 to m, y i t min and minus w0 minus w1 x i to the power of 2. Okay, now we said that uh, we want to find w0 and w1 so that uh, it minimizes the error function. Okay, 
I have found the error function and this is the error function. If we want to minimize this function, one of the usual methods that we could use is that is taking derivative taking derivative taking derivative uh, derivative from the function that we want to minimize here we want to minimize the error so we take the derivative of e or error for what for w0 because we want to find the best value for w0 so we take the derivative based on uh, uh, one of the parameters so if we do this finally okay we have these are some calculations we have here and finally we come to this we say that w0 is equal to y uh, t um, uh, minus w1 x okay uh, and uh, this y and x it is the mean value of y target and the mean value of, of x M. Okay. Uh, letter M. Here you mean, yes? Mr. Muhammad Jafar, this one you mean? Okay. This M, as you see, we have, uh, we have removed the summation. The summation was from I1 to M. Okay, we have removed this summation and uh, we have replaced it with this M. Okay, because we have a summation of all of the values and then instead of that, we multiply each value in the M. So it's similar to the summation, okay? Yes, we are uh, replacing the summation. Okay, for example, if we have, if we say that we have a summation uh, of, okay, let me write an uh, example. Okay. I say that we have a summation and it is it is summing uh, the uh, number one <coughs> from uh, i from one to m and this um, if we put instead of this summation we could put the value m this is what we have here Yes, it is for, uh, yes, for reducing the size of the equation and for um, uh, making the term a simpler term. And then finally, we have this W0 is equal to Y and uh, minus w1 x and this x and y it is the mean value of x and y
Okay, uh, so this is how we could find, this is how we could find uh, the uh, W0. W0 was one of the parameters in this learning model. In this learning model, W0 is one of the parameters. Uh, okay. Uh, Yes, the derivative, the derivative of uh, the error to uh, w zero. Okay, we took the derivative for w zero. In the last, okay, Ms. Ms. Resha, in the last formula, you say, uh, you mean this formula? You said W0 is equal to, okay, we don't have a derivative in the last formula. In the last formula, it means the mean value of, the average value of Y. And the average value of x. That is, that's not derivative. Okay, and uh, in this slide, we are, uh, we want to find the value for uh, the W1. We want to find the value for W1. Okay, uh, okay, this, this, in this method, in this method, okay, uh, in the least square method, uh, we take the derivative of the error and then we find the value for each of the parameters. In this example, for example, the value of W0 is equal to uh, the average value of Y, target Y, minus W1, the average value of X. Okay? So, uh, if we want to find uh, W0, uh, we have to have W1. And W1, it is calculated using this formula. Okay? In w if we want to find W1, first we have to take the derivative for W1. And, uh, and we come to these terms. Okay, if we come to these terms. And finally, it is this term. W1 is equal to covariance of x and yt divided by the variance of x. Okay, so this is W1. And then we put W1 in this formula. We get W0. Okay, so in this method, okay, Mr. Muhammad Jafar, you said, can we have an example of this at least a square? In this method, 
the main thing is finding the derivative is finding the derivative and then uh, if we find the derivative then we could find the, the final answer okay if you remember in the perceptron in the perceptron algorithm uh, we had a for loop we had a loop and in this loop we were updating the weights but here we don't update the weights and we only get one weight here for example in the list square we get the derivative and then we come to w0 and finish okay So this is the difference of the least square compared to the algorithm we had for the perceptron for training. Okay, uh, no, the derivative of y is not the average. Okay, we, I didn't say uh, the derivative of y. We are having the derivative of the error. The derivative of the error. The derivative of error uh, two w zero. It is this term, and then we come to the come to w zero from this formula. Okay, so we are taking the derivative of the error, not of y. And 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 finally, in the answer, we have uh, this w zero, and we calculate w zero using this formula. So first we need to have w1. And okay, so this is the least square method. For each of the parameters that we want to find, we have to take the derivative of the error function to that parameter. <coughs> after doing this, after taking the taking the derivative, we say that the derivative is 0. And then we find the value of the parameter. Okay, for each of the parameters, we should do this. Okay, uh, if if we have, if we want to have an example on this, okay, uh, it means that because I said that, okay, uh, we only need to know the final formula. This is the final formula. So W0 is this formula, and W1 is this formula. We only need to calculate W0 and W1 based on our data, okay? So if we want to have an example, uh, first we have to, first we have to calculate the covariance and the variance. We have to calculate the covariance and the variance of the data. And then we find W1, and using W1, we could find W0, okay? That's very simple. It, it, if I give you the data, only you have to calculate the covariance and the variance of the data, the covariance of X and YT, and the variance of X. We calculate this, and then we get W1. After that, we put W1 in this formula and we get W0. Okay, this average of Y, okay, for example, if, we, if I have five data, the average of Y is the average of Y in that five data. Okay, we sum up the uh, outputs and divide it by five. This is the average. The same thing is for uh, X we get the average of the feature, the input. So it's very simple. Only we have, in this example, the only thing that we have to calculate is uh, the covariance and the variance. Uh, 
from this from this part from this part of the uh, lecture uh, from least square <clears throat> uh, because if uh, the uh, main point is finding the covariance and the variance okay so you have to know how to find the covariance and the variance uh, and I haven't talked about this in the class how do we calculate the covariance and the variance uh, if I want to give you an example about this least square first I have to tell you how to calculate the covariance and variance okay but it is very similar to the perceptron okay we have a data and for example in this data we only have one input here here we have only one input one input one output and then we have to find the covariance and the variance and we get w1 and then we get w0 it's very simple only you have to know how to calculate covariance and variance and and I haven't talked about this in class. Okay, I will uh, I will give you an example, no problem. Okay, the example, but just uh, the uh, the example is similar to the example for the perceptron. Okay, we have the data. I will give you an example of this. Okay, uh, it's similar to uh, the perceptron. I will give you an example. Okay, no problem. I will put it in the DARSA. Okay, so uh, in this slide we talked about uh, regression. Uh, regression is a type of supervised learning, I said, and the main point is that in in regression the output is continuous. The output is continuous, and. Uh, um, uh, and we talked about the linear regression which has a linear learning model uh, and uh, we talked about the least square we talked about the least square algorithm for finding the parameters or the w1 and w0 okay uh, okay mister uh, Muhammad Jafar, you say, how do we extract W2? Okay, if, if we want to extract W2, first we have to take the derivative for W2. The same thing we did for W0 and W1. First we have to take the derivative and then, based on the derivative, we put the derivative to 0 and then we could find W2. Okay, so this was the regression. No, the formula for W1 is not the same for W2. We have to find the formula. Uh, as I said, we have to take the derivative for 
each of the parameters w0 w1 w2 this is this is uh, something that uh, this is the uh, a difficult part of this method this is the difficult part of this algorithm we have to take the derivative for each of the parameters w0 w1 w2 w3 wn Okay, we have to take the derivative for each parameter and then put the derivative to zero and then we could find that parameter. This is what we have to do, okay? The main part is taking the derivative and putting, putting the, 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 the derivative to zero. Yes, this method, the least square method, is a bit complicated. Okay? We have to, for each of the parameters, we have to take the derivative. No, Mrs. Uh, Rasha, the derivative of E for W1 is not the same for derivative of E for W2. It's different. We have to take the derivative. Okay, it's different. In this example, we had a very simple example. We had a very simple example. It was a model. It, uh, it was a linear model with only one input. But W2, it means we have a linear model with two inputs. W0 plus W1 X1 plus W2 X2. You have two inputs. Okay. In this situation, we have to uh, find the derivative for W0, W1, and W2. Okay? And then, okay, so for first we have to see how many inputs we have. Uh, you know, it's a bit complicated, Mr. Muhammad Jaffa, okay? Uh, it's no problem, and it takes a lot of time. I have to uh, take the derivative, uh, and, uh, okay? So, this is, uh, this is something, I will give you an example, okay? And uh, you could see, if, if we have two inputs, W0, W1, and W2, for example, you see, uh, all of this formula would change okay if if we have two inputs uh, if we have two inputs uh, the w0 formula it will change w1 it will change okay i will uh, give you an example for only this one input because the two input it's more complicated uh, we have to uh, find derivatives okay and in the in the exam uh, this because this part it has a lot of mathematics you have to know how to get the derivatives and uh, in each of the uh, and and in each of the examples the de uh, the derivatives would be different okay uh, so uh, in the exam, uh, from this part, uh, we will only have the concepts. 
if I want to give you an example and then you have to take the derivatives, it would be a, a very mathematical question. And I think it would be a bit difficult. No problem, I will give you an example. I will give you an example of a data with one input and you could check this, uh, uh, these two results with that data, okay? I will give you an example, Mr. Mohammed Jaffer, no problem. Uh, yes, if if we want to, if we want to do some mathematic uh, calculations here, uh, for this part of the course, from this part of the course, I won't give you an uh, example that you have to give a solution for it because it it is a bit difficult and it takes a lot of time if you want to take the derivatives, okay? So in the exam, from this part, I won't give you a uh, question that you have to solve it, okay? So no problem. Okay, uh, let's talk about the presentations that we will have. Uh, okay. Okay, we have three more online sessions. Uh, we have three more online sessions. Uh, and... Uh, um, okay, Mr. Hossein, you said that you will, I will give you summaries. Uh, and uh, this, if you have any questions about the lectures, you could ask me. But all of the lectures they have been uh, they have been recorded, and you could see the lectures. Okay, and if you have any questions, you can ask. Sorry, Doctor, there are some yes. comments. Uh, sorry to uh, How much is the lecture to finish uh, the, uh, the subject data mining? How much uh, in the end? How many lectures? Yes, we have, uh, we have uh, two main subjects left, uh, clustering and ensemble learning. Okay, we have two main subjects left, uh, and uh, we have, and then we will have the uh, the presentations. Okay, okay, Mr. Okay, Mrs. Naba. Okay, uh, okay, uh, Mrs. Uh, Marva. Mrs. Marva. Uh, no, the data set is okay. This is the link. Okay, data set link. This is the data set link. I, I send it for you. Mrs. Uh, Marva. The presentation. Sorry, Dr. Van Yes. The presentation will be online. Yes, yes. The presentation will be online. Yes. Uh, I will. Will 
rough lecture or here? Yes, I think uh, it will be in the two last lectures. In the two last lectures. Doctor, when you finish the subject of data mining, can you give uh, a sample for a quiz, uh, for the question in final exam? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I will give you. I will give you a sample. Yes. Uh, can I transfer to the student? Yes, yes, yes. طلاب بالنسبة بعد موضوعين الأستاذ يخلص المادة بعد موضوعين بالمحاضرة البرزنتيشن راح يصير أونلاين مو حضوري أونلاين والبرزنتيشن راح يصيرين بالمحاضرات المحاضرتين الأخيرات وبالنسبة للامتحان النهائي إنه راح ينطينا أسئلة قلت له ينطينا أسئلة بعد راح نعطيكم أسئلة مشابهة لأسئلة الامتحان إذا عندكم أي سؤال حتى أسئلة للأستاذ Thank you very much doctor Okay, thank you. Yes. How long the homework? How can you explain more for the homework? Homework? Okay, the homework is, yes. Yes, this is, okay, let me explain about the homework. Okay, this is the second homework. And in this homework, uh, it is about the KNN classifier. And you want to evaluate the KNN classifier uh, for this data set, the balance scale data set. Okay, so you have to uh, give the data to this classifier and then test it. Okay, you will have a train uh, and test data. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, this is uh, if you have any questions about this, okay, so you have to uh, select the training data and the test data and then you have to test the KLN classifier with the test data. That's what you have to do in this homework using a MATLAB or other software. Yes, yes, yes. قيم الكائن الكلاسيفاير اللي موجود بالمحاضرة الخامسة تقريبا يحلها عن طريق الماتلاب أو أي قانون برمجة طبعا ما أشتركات الأصابية اللي أنتم تحصلين هي نوعين أولا بيانات التدريب بعدين بيانات الاختبار من كان بيانات التدريب بيانات الاختبار تختبر بيانات التدريب على بيانات الاختبار فهذا كله تطبقه بأي قانون بالماتلاب أو أي برمجة طبعا يقول لك من تخلص هذا الشيء أن تحضر تقرير بالمعوقات والمشاكل والتعاريف والتطبيقات اللي واجهتك من خلال تطبيق هذا الواجه مفهوم لا أسكم بعد سؤال Thank you very much Doctor Thank you, thank you very much <coughs> Okay So this is the second homework
Okay, okay. Our our subject is finished. I only want to speak uh, a, a few minutes about the new subject, and then I will finish. So you could get ready for the exam. Uh, okay. Uh, the next subject that we will have uh, is about uh, clustering. Uh, clustering is uh, is another type of learning that uh, we have in data mining. Uh, in clustering, uh, we <coughs> uh, in uh, in data mining we have three types of learning. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and semi-supervised learning. These are three types of learning that we have uh, in data mining. Supervised learning, it means that uh, as we had, uh, uh, as we had, uh, okay, sorry, Mr. Uh, Muhammad Jafar, you said that you are on the first duty and it was difficult. Okay, you. Uh, uh, okay, the uh, the first duty was about neural network. Okay, if you uh, you could uh, the the method. It is similar to the second homework. Uh, the first homework, it is similar to, uh, to the second uh, homework, only the uh, method is different. In the first homework, you are working with the neural network, and in the second homework, with the KNN. And uh, in each example, you know, I can't uh, give you the solution for the example. Uh, uh, for the exercises and you have to uh, if you search in the internet you could find uh, many solutions uh, and then you have to check them and uh, get your solution okay uh, and mm, I can't give you the, uh, the solution for the exercises so you have to think about it and search in the internet so you could get uh, a good solution for it, okay, Mr. Muhammad Jafar. Okay. okay, I will talk about the rest of this subject uh, in the next uh, sessions. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good time and uh, Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.